That breaking news, a police chase starts in Vancouver, crosses state lines, shots are fired, it all comes to an end right on I-84 in Portland. Tonight, we know the driver is connected to the murder of convenience store clerk Kayla Chapman. Cole Miller, live on the scene with the latest. Portland police just briefed reporters a half hour ago. What did they have to say, Cole? Yeah, we just heard from him, Jeff, and we have just learned that at some point during all of this, Vancouver police exchanged fire with someone in that truck. At some point, they were speeding down 205 before stopping on 84 here. We've also learned that a Vancouver police officer was injured. We're told they were not shot. Their injuries are non-life threatening. Now, here out at the scene, hours later, a huge span of 84 remains closed between the Lloyd Center, extending even further east. And as you mentioned, police say one of the guys arrested here tonight is connected to that Kelso murder. Now, as soon as we got here, just before 8 o'clock, officers let a canine jump in that truck, thinking there may be someone inside. We didn't see anyone come out, but in the minutes leading up to that, one witness tells us that two men were inside. They were both ordered out and got out. Now, this wild scene of events all started again in Vancouver. That's where police say they began chasing 23-year-old Erkinson Bossy. We're told he was the driver here and the driver in that early morning shooting death of Kayla Chapman in Kelso. It rocked that community. Now, at some point, again, shots were fired. He made it all the way here to where we are and was taken into custody. All of this while witnesses watched on. Well, they arrested the, I assume, the driver, the first guy that was laying on the ground. I mean, they finally got him over there and he was screaming out in some pretty decent pain. It was kind of disturbing. I've lived here my whole life. I've never been this close to something this big. There's lots of police cars and there's block in both ways, so it's it's pretty massive. Now we also know that again a second person was in this truck. They were also arrested, still waiting to see who that is. Now in the midst of all of this, drivers were caught up in the chaos, some waiting for close to an hour before they were finally able to turn around and get off the freeway. As for Bossy, we could see him see him being taken away on a stretcher and then loaded into an ambulance. Now back out here live, we do know now that Portland police will take the lead on the officer involved shooting part of this investigation. Their mobile command center now set up out here. That is a good sign that this stretch of freeway will likely be shut for quite some time. How long that could be, we don't know just yet. Now again, two people in custody. Again, one of them we're told connected to that shooting death of Kayla Chapman. She was working overnight at that convenience store in Kelso that so many people were, were affected by so many people saying so many good things about her. Of course, as we learn more, we'll pass all of those details along. But again, a big stretch of 84 here still closed, likely into the overnight hours. Live tonight in Northeast Portland, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Cole, a quick question. The truck, the suspect truck, looked like yeah. it was peppered with bullet holes. Yeah, yeah, Jeff, it was riddled with bullet holes all sides. There's hardly any glass left on that truck. Now, as we first got on scene here again at around 8 o'clock or so, we could see uh, officers, we're not sure with which, which agency, approaching that truck using another truck as cover. They were firing some type of round into the back window. My guess was a less than lethal type round. It didn't quite sound like a live round. But, yeah, that truck just absolutely riddled and peppered with all kinds of bullet holes. All right, Cole Miller on the scene. The first